Alright, so I wanted to make this vi video because what happened was that I was complaining about how most of the items is just in one character, right? But that's not true. What happened is that there is a way to transfer the item and I'm going to show you that way right now in this video. I have a new character here and this is Storm, right? I mean, damn it. Alright, so wrong character. I mean, I Storm is here and all, but I was playing with Captain Marvel. And let me go in here with Captain Marvel and I'll show you. As you can see here, I have the Spider-Man stuff, right? I mean, uh, Spider-Man costumes, Spider-Man boots, and Spider-Man whatever, whatever that's in there. And to do this, you know, transfer one item to another character, it's very, very simple. And all you got to do is go here, go to squad. Squad is the main thing, right? All you got to do is go to storage or card storage. So storage is for items. And you can put the items in here. Let's say I put, um, I don't really want to put anything in here, to be honest. But let, let's say I put, like, uh, this, this helmet here. Not that I want to, but I'm just showing you guys. Uh, here's the Captain Marvel helmet, four star. And then you switch to your hero, which shouldn't be Storm. But I don't know. I mean, let's go on in there and we're going to go back into squad. And then go into inventory, I mean storage, and as you can see here, the the thing is here. And you, all you got to do is is retrieve, right? And you could do this with the the costume boxes, the selection boxes, the anything, basically. And you could send it all in there. And let me send this back. I mean, now it's in our inventory, but I don't want it. Why would I want it, right? So that is for the items now. If you're looking for storage for the card, it's the same method except it's the card portion, right? So I have no cards in this, uh, on this character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrieve those cards. And as you can see, now I have cards. So I can make my characters much stronger. Before I had no cards. Now we got cards. So you could do that with any item. I think any item as far as I know. Um... Except the titles, I guess. But it's pretty cool. And it's pretty easy to do. It's not hard at all. And I was saying, you know, remember the Spider-Man? You know, let's say I go here. And let me just retrieve some of the stuff for my main character. This is my main character, which I like the most. And let's go into storage. Now, I have this costume box. I have 12 of them. We're going to retrieve that. Actually, I don't know if I want to retrieve that. Okay, let's retrieve this, the draw selection ticket. Now, you could use it, right, on your character. I want to save the selection box for Iron Man. Why, why do I want to retrieve it now, right? So, if I do this, as you can see here, this is going to give me a costume draw ticket. So, I can have all my costume draw tickets and stuff like that. So, that's pretty cool. But you can't... Well, you can send anything, basically, I think. Let me just go back in here. What can't I send? Let me see. So I'm going to use these files too because I want to make this character stronger. So let me go back into squad. I'm going to send this. I want to save these guys for Iron Man in the future, which I do not have. Uh, I haven't done anything with the Iron Man, so nothing's happening there. But I do have like a plenty of costumes. Now, the draw tickets, you can still send in too. So I have 11 here, and you can send this in and use it on another character, right? If you don't like Spider-Man, right? Let's say you want to do it on Iron Man. So you could send it in, and, you know, you might get multiple draw tickets on multiple characters. And you could send them in and just add them up, and then you could, you know, do this draw, right? 10x, right? Right there. Except I don't like the character here, so I, I don't want to draw. But that is pretty cool. So that's how you transfer items from character to characters in Marvel Future Revolution. 